Since its inception in 1996, Super Rugby has grown in leaps and bounds, establishing itself as the Southern Hemisphere's premier rugby competition. Starting with 12 foundation teams, the competition grew to 14 and then 15. And in 2016, Super Rugby will reach new fans, new markets and new heights with the introduction of three new teams. The Jaguars from Argentina, the Sunwolves from Japan and the Kings from South Africa. The new competition will consist of four conferences arranged into two groups, one from Australasia and one from South Africa. The Australasian group is made up of the Australian Conference and the New Zealand Conference, each containing five teams. The South African group contains two conferences with four sides in each. These will include all South African based teams and the teams from Argentina and Japan. It's exciting, but it does mean a few changes to what you might previously have been used to. So here's what it means for Rebels fans. For the regular season, all you need to remember is the 6-5-4 rule. Your men will play six games against teams in our own conference, which includes home and away clashes against the Reds and Force, plus single matches against the Brumbies and the Waratahs. There'll be five games against the New Zealand Conference, one against each Kiwi team, including hosting last year's Super Rugby finalists, the Highlanders and Hurricanes, right here at Amy Park. And the Rebels will play four games against one of the South African conferences, including visits to Pretoria to take on the Bulls and Tokyo for a historic clash against the Sunwolves. And we'll roll out the welcome mat in Melbourne for the Cheetahs and last season's South African Conference champions, the Stormers. So the Rebels take on more Kiwi teams, get their first taste of Japanese Super Rugby and can look forward to meeting the new Argentina franchise in 2017 as Super Rugby goes out to more fans and markets than ever before. Each team plays 15 matches across 17 rounds and will have two buys. Conference standings and competition points at the end of the regular season will be used to determine seedings, with eight teams to play off in the Super Rugby Final Series. Seeds one to four are the conference winners, ranked in the order of competition points and will host in week one. Seeds 5 to 8 are the wild cards, consisting of the next best team from the South African group and the next three best teams from the Australasian group. These seedings will ensure that each conference is represented, with the higher ranked team earning the right to play at home. It's sudden death throughout the final series, which makes for an exciting conclusion to the Super Rugby season. So to recap, your team will play 15 games across 17 rounds each season, meeting every other team over a two-year rotation. With a broader pool of playing talent, bigger thrills and new rivalries throughout new countries, this is the next bold step in the ongoing evolution of the best provincial rugby competition in the world, driving Super Rugby into a rousing new era.